a good night lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the enemy here to read you another story. And I've got a fun book tonight about somebody who wants a new pet. Do you have a pet? Do you have a dog or a cat or a bunny or a bird or a goldfish? Those are all really good pets. But this book is about a different kind of pet. It's called I Want a Pet. And that is not a typical pet. I'm not even sure what that is. It might be a lion, and I don't know if you should have a lion for a pet. We need to get inside this book and find out what kind of pet this little girl's gonna get because she wants a pet, and she's got a big decision to make. Are you ready to get inside this I Want a Pet book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. I Want a Pet. Written by Lauren Child. I really want a pet. Please, Mom, can I have a pet? Mom says, well, perhaps something with not too much fur. Dad says, maybe something that lives outside. Granny says, nothing with a buzz. It interferes with her hearing aid. Granddad said, stuffed pets are very reliable. The pet shop lady says, goldfish can be fun. Wow, everybody has a different idea. And I say, how? How can a goldfish be fun? Mom asks, what sort of pet would you like? I say, how about an African lion? I'd train him and we could do a show. We'd be a roaring success. Granny says, um, lions have a habit of snacking between meals. Ah, uh, is the lion going to eat the girl? I think, uh-oh, maybe not a good idea to get a lion. A sheep would be nice, and they're vegetarians. We could knit sweaters together. Granddad says, sheeps are forever following you around. They don't have minds of their own. Oh, I hate copycats. She doesn't want a sheep because she thinks it'll copy everything she does. How about a wolf? I bet they have lots of good ideas and wolves are good sniffers, so we'd never get lost. Dad says, wolves are also good at howling. Howling gives me a headache. Um, Dad isn't much fun when he gets a headache. Nope, no wolves. Maybe an octopus is the answer. They're quiet and we could go diving in the tub. Mom says, do you have any idea how many footprints an octopus would make? I say, um, eight. Mom says, exactly. She doesn't want anybody in there that's going to leave eight dirty feet print around. A boa constrictor would be perfect. They don't have legs and they hardly make a sound. Dad says, boa constrictors have a habit of wrapping them around everything and squeezing too tightly. Hmm. Maybe I want a pet that's a little less friendly. Boa constrictor would squeeze way too hard. How about a bat? At night we could flap around and during the day we'd dangle upside down in the closet. <laughs> Mom says, if anyone mentions bats in the closet, there'll be no chocolate eclairs. Uh-oh, Mom's afraid of the bats. But chocolate eclairs are my favorite, so I'm not going to get a bat. So I must try and find a pet that won't eat me, won't copy my ideas, won't make too much noise, won't leave dirty footprints around the house, won't squeeze me too hard, and won't make my mom so mad she cancels chocolate eclairs. Wow, what kind of pet is there left? The pet shop lady says she can think of one thing that doesn't leave footprints, doesn't eat, doesn't move, and doesn't make a peep. No one's exactly sure what it is because it's not quite a pet yet. What is she getting? But it will be soon. Oh, she got a giant egg. It's going to hatch into a pet and she doesn't know what it's going to be. Oh no. What's it going to be? What's going to hatch out of that egg? She's going to get a pet and we don't even know what it is. But we got to make sure it doesn't howl, it doesn't eat people, it doesn't leave footprints all over the place. I wonder what kind of pet it is. I don't know. But I know that some of those pets she was wanting, 
I would not want. She needs to get a dog or a cat or a bird. Not some crazy pet like a lion. You can't have a pet lion. Lions eat people. You don't want a pet lion in your house. And an octopus? Where would you keep it? In the bathtub? She had some crazy ideas for pets. But whatever she got, I bet she's going to love it a lot. Because we all do love our pets. No matter what they are, no matter what they do, even when they leave footprints on the floor, we still love our pets. If you have a pet, I hope you take really good care of it, and I hope you show it how much you love it every single day. And tonight, I need all my little pets to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, spend some time with your pet. And if you don't have a pet, talk to mom. Maybe you can get a pet. But if you don't have a pet, you can go visit somebody's house who does have a pet and you can be very nice to them because it's important that we're nice to animals. And if you do have a pet, be responsible and take care of them. And when mom tells you it's time to clean up after the pet, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm gonna be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.